Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the 1st of November and Rock 2022 AU. It is time for our first album of the month. In October, it was themed around Halloween. We did Bad Out of Hell with Meatloaf and Welcome to My Nightmare with Alice Cooper. It was The music was really well received. We had some great cute pictures posted of bats and spiders. It was a lot of fun and a little different compared to other months. We had about the same number of pictures posted with the same sort of participants, but it was still fun. And there is a participant prize draw at the end. So make sure you check it out and congratulate the winner. For me, I've already showed you my um, Bat Out of Hell Corner to Corner Square, which was Halloween colors. And for Welcome to My Nightmare, here is my square. I did um, colours from the album cover and this one has the white border because I'm going to be doing two lap gowns out of the squares. One black with a black border and one with a white border. So that was my square. Now when I started Rock 2022 earlier in the year I was doing Ophelia Talk zigzag blanket as a lap gown for charity and it was getting too big. But I have finally finished it all sewed in all the ends and put a border around it. It is quite big. I'll have to try and take a photo and put a picture at the end. I'm really happy with it. I didn't do the Ophelia Talks border. I just did three rows of half double crochet a using black and grey, which I had a lot of in my stash. But yeah, I really do like this tutorial and highly recommend if you want a really nice blanket, zigzag blanket, this is it. I will make another one of these. Um, it was enjoyable. So that's October, November. Well, I had no real plans for November and we had a bit of a discussion, Reeves Thing and I, about the music we've covered so far this year and what I could do in November. And we decided iconic bands, bands that have made a difference to the music scene when they started in it. Real um, different types of music so it was things pick as he's the eldest and the first one for November is of course one of his favorites the Beatles the vinyl album is Abbey Road he loves the Beatles he really does and this is one of his favorite Beatles album We've actually driven over that crosswalk quite, crosswalk quite a few times, but we've never actually stopped and done the tourist walk, which a lot of people do and take a photo. This album cover also created a bit of sensation because Paul McCartney was barefoot and a lot of people said that signaled that he had died. It's just how people jump to conclusions, but it is a great album full of great music and a great album cover. I've done a little bit of research about the Beatles to add to my knowledge. They were, when I was about 14 or 15, one of my favourite bands. And I remember my dad had been away working for quite a number of weeks. And when he flew back, he would brought us all a little present. And my present was a magazine on the Beatles. And I've always remembered that because I was really surprised he knew I was into that. Unless mum had told him what I was into. But it, I always treasured it. I think I wore it out. So the Beatles are an English rock band that started in Liverpool in 1960. They comprised of John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. They are regarded as the most influential band of all time and were integral to the, the, the development of 1960s counterculture and popular music and making it be recognized as an art form. Rooted in skiff, beat and 1950s rock and roll, the sound incorporated elements of classical music and traditional pop in innovative ways. The band later explored music styles ranging from folk and Indian music to psychedelia music and hard rock. In early 1964, the Beatles were international stars and achieved unprecedented levels of critical and commercial success. They became a leading force in British culture resurgence 
ushering the British invasion of the United States pop music market. The Beatles are the best-selling music act of all time, it, with estimated sales of 600 million units worldwide. They hold the record for the most popular number one albums on the UK charts, 15 of them, most number one hits on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart, 20 of them, and most singles sold in the UK, 21.9 million. They've received many accolades, including winning the Oscar for the best original song score for the 1970 documentary film, Let It Be. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988, and each member was inducted individually between 1994 and 2015. In 2004 and 2011, the group topped Rolling Stone's list of the greatest artist in history. Abbey Road is their 11th studio album and it was released on September 26, 1969. That was my dad's birthday, September the 26th. So there you have it. It is a great cover. Although it was... Um, the group started recording, it was the last album the group started recording, Let It Be was the last album completed before the band's breakup in 1970. So, I, Thing and I have actually been to Liverpool to see the cavern which is actually closed and it's one side of the street and there is an actual replica type one, the other which is the one you go to, the bar where they used to play. The one that they actually were in, I think it's unsafe. I'm not sure if they've changed that because it was quite a few years ago. And I do have a photo of me outside there. Um, we met up with a friend who I'd met on a um, holiday to China, was it? I think it was China. Yep. I met Amanda who lives in Liverpool and uh, we spent the day with her. Oh, well, I did. About lunch, about lunchtime or after lunch, Thing went off to the Beatles Museum, which I wasn't really interested in, and her and I went shopping. But yeah, he had a fun day. He said, I'd missed out on seeing a great museum, but you never know. I might go back to Liverpool again. I'm fairly sure Abbey of um, Blue Heart Crochet is in Liverpool. Make sure you check out her channel. She makes great Emma groups. Sorry, hiccups. So what can inspire your project? Well, of course, the album cover, the iconic crosswalk, the fashion, the colours in the cover. The back of the cover is just a brick wall, but you never know. You could make an amigurumi beetle. That'd be fun, a little beetle. You could also use the music to inspire you. There is so much Beatles music. It will be difficult putting a, a playlist together and keeping it to a reasonable length, but there will be a playlist in the description below for you to listen to while you make your project or to get inspiration from. Let's not forget Yellow Submarine, Octopus's Garden, lots of little amigurumi projects there, lots of great colours, strawberry fields, so many great songs. I don't really have a favourite Beatles song. I pretty much like them all. I do have one I don't like because for years in my old job, whenever a group of guys had had a few, they would start singing Hey Jude and go on forever and flat and unmusical. I really dislike Hey Jude. I have to admit, they wore me out. But the Beatles are a great brand, so I hope you enjoy the album for our first album in November. It brings me to the Rock 2022 Make Along. This is the second Make Along I have done throughout a year. And this is the longest one. I did it for a year. And I noticed around end of June, the numbers really halved and dropped off. So my question to you guys is, are you interested in another Make Along next year? And would it be okay if we just did it for six months? We'd still have the two drawers a month 
and they'd still be a participant prize draw, but we would finish it on the 30th of June. I myself get extremely busy with work from July to December, but let me know in the comments below. If you still want a year-long make-along, let me know. I already have a theme buzzing around in my head, totally different to this one. So yeah, let me know. And don't be afraid to say, no, I'm tired of your make-alongs. Do something different. It's always great to get feedback, as long as it's positive feedback, not negative, cruel or nasty. <laughs> Just keep it nice. But say, no, I'm a bit bored or, you know, I'm over your make-alongs. Let's see you do something different. I really appreciate the feedback because the planning for the make-along does take a couple of months. I work out a budget and what I'm going to give away and yeah, putting the videos together. Anyway guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well and don't forget to enjoy the music playlist of the Beatles with some of it from the LP Abbey Road. Bye for now. Time for the October participant prize draw, 16 names on the wheel, good luck everyone. Congratulations, Jane Daniel. Congratulations, Jane. If you could email me and make contact, I can organise a gift voucher for you. If you're overseas, it will probably be an Amazon one. Or if you're in Australia, I can probably do other ones. So congratulations, Jane. Everyone congratulate Jane on her win. There we go. On to November. Bye for now.